Hi guys, Mike here at tabletby.com and uh, we're going to have a very short clip here. I'm going to show you uh, that the ASUS Bad Transformer Prime can actually work with a bunch of different USB accessories. So, we have the ASUS Bad Transformer Prime here with the docking and as you probably know, this one comes with an USB port over here. So there's only one USB port, not two like on the previous generation transformer, on the first generation transformer. Okay, I'm going to connect a bunch of different things here. First, we have a mouse. This is a standard wireless mouse from ASUS and it comes with a dongle. Here's the dongle. I'm going to have to connect the dongle, place it over here on the back and as you can see it's actually working right now you can control things with the mouse now the surface i'm using it's not that responsive over here but mainly you can see that i'm not using here's my hand and here is the mouse and you can see that i'm controlling things with this mouse here so i'm launching email and all this bunch of stuff Right now the trackpad is off, so if I'm using the trackpad it's not going to work, but I'm using the mouse, so it works. So it, it works with the wireless mouse, it will work as well with the standard cable mouse, and it will work with the Bluetooth mouse as well, and you're not going to need the dongle uh, anymore for that. Okay, so that was the mouse, let's get rid of the mouse. Uh, we also have here a couple of flash drives. This is a standard 2GB FAT. Uh, FAT uh, formatted drive and this is an NFF NTFS drive this is a bigger one it's a 16 gigabyte uh, flash drive in here okay so let's go ahead and connect this all right let's zoom a bit it has it says here preparing for storage and the storage is now available external storage inserted should go ahead and open the file manager and it's going to see this is the usb discs disk and these are all the things that are available on this disk so a bunch of different files there's a pdf let's open the pdf with using my library actually going to see that it's going to work quite okay so right now we're actually loading things from the storage drive okay let's go back and back and unconnect this you have the this small icon here you have to press it and it's now safe to disconnect this so this is one of the drives and one of the flash drives and this is the other one the bigger one the NTFS one it's working preparing it and once it's available you can go ahead and surf on it as well you have a couple of benchmarks here I have some pictures so here it is this is a picture from this drive okay let's disconnect this again uh, besides this we also have some external storage drives and we actually have two of them this is the first one it's a la c it's a standard uh, usb 2.0 storage drive so we're having it right here and let's see if that one is going to work connect it all right so already saw it you have here the drive and should work loading it lo waiting for not for the gallery okay let's try again it should actually open the gallery it should open this file manager all right let's actually try again from here oh, where is the file manager file manager file manager all right here's the file manager and it's working and it sees the disk here and all the content you're having we're having in here okay so this one is working as well let's disconnect it all right and next to it we have this 
other one which is a USB 3.0 you might notice from the blue thing here and from this bigger mini USB connector it's used for the 3.0 devices so it's a USB 3.0 storage drive and let's connect this one and see if it's going to work preparing and yeah here here it is so this one works as well we have some pictures here some benchmarks so it's working uh, besides this you will be able to connect uh, controllers uh, for games US with the USB dongles I don't have one so I can't really show you that and uh, it should also work with uh, things such as printers but it might not work with all printers because uh, sometimes uh, they might need some drivers and they might not be available for Android so for printers you're probably going to connect this wirelessly to your network and then go to a printer but in some occasions it might work with the printer connected via USB except for those I think I've showed you most of the things you will be able you will ever want to connect on USB uh, on the ASUS iPad transformer brand okay if you only have the tablet you won't get access to the full size USB port and there is no USB port on the tablet itself so in order to use USB accessories you're going to need the docking uh, as well okay thanks that was all for now mike at tabletby.com